What is it like dealing with a lab mate that mm -hmm. always really film during classes? How are you guys finding the experience of dating people during grad school? Let's rate our tutor. I never asked you guys on the student loan. How, how does that work? All right, any questions for each other? Calvin's the best. Let's cheers to this great year. Cheers! So <laughs> we've just finished our all my all our classes in the second year, right? So I thought it's probably uh -huh. a good time for us to do a recap on what happened. <laughs> Let's talk about some of your favorite memories and some of the least favorite memories of each other. Let's start with least favorite. Okay, I'll take you go first. <laughs> I don't have any honestly. Mm. Now the fact that this is our first time eating together. It is. We've done it more times. Yeah, we should have done it. It is. Before. Oh wait, we had. Well, actually, we do have a Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, we mm -hmm. did. That was a good memory. We did. That was a good memory. Yeah. Okay. Type one question. Yeah. So at the time, <laughs> oh it was only the start of the school, right? We mm -hmm. we weren't really that close at the time. Why did you invite me? <laughs> did you like you? Mm -hmm. Like me? Um, had a good vibe going. Good vibe going. On your Instagram, we searched you. We wanted a guy in our group. Oh. No, he's saying why we invite him to Friendsgiving. Yeah. Mm. Oh, because we just, I don't know, we, we like you. We like you. We want yeah. you to like come and like hang with us. Calvin's the best. And another question. What is it like dealing with a lab mate the that, is so good. that mm. always like film during classes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure there were a couple times where I was like, hold on a second. Let me just put on the camera, yeah. the mm -hmm. tripod. I don't really care, but sometimes I'm like, ew, I look disgusting. Who yeah. Is? <laughs> mm. Yeah. I didn't mind. Honestly, it was good for me to learn from watching videos too. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. Mm. It's nice that you record everything. Honestly. Like for me, it's, it's just because ever since I recorded or documenting my life, mm -hmm. I've become more conscious on my decisions. It's like whenever I could, I could go back to my memory. Like you, you could go back to my memory, but now you yeah. can see it. Mm -hmm. It accentuates the learning process of what you have done before, mm -hmm. and... Should you just do it for learning? Like, documenting, and then revisiting, and... and make better decisions, but better decisions mm -hmm. onward. I, I learned a lot from just watching, mm -hmm. wow, because no one's gonna film you and then say, this is what you're doing right now, but now watching what you're doing... True. It gives me a new perspective of how mm. I view myself, and I was like, wow, I didn't expect I was doing that. Yeah, it's actually smart. But I also feel like when you know you're filming, it feels different. Mm -hmm. A little bit, mm -hmm. for sure, for sure. Yeah. So but that may be the better self, I don't know. <laughs> the most unappealing video. <laughs> That's okay. I'll cut out all those. But. All right, next question. <laughs> okay. Let's, I'm barbecue. let's rate our tutor. <laughs> Here comes my, my, like, oh like <laughs> one of my confusion, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's like, why don't CMCC standardize the, the teaching? Apparently they do. Definitely don't. Like, in terms of the, t the techniques they teach, right? You see different versions. Yes, it might work for different people, but for them to communicate, as a academic standard, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's no very standard it's standard. very hard for us to gauge yeah. if there isn't like a mm -hmm. set standard that we have to meet. Everyone's performing different technique. <laughs> so yeah, that's another just yeah. very confused. I, know, very... I definitely did not expect that going into this program. I didn't realize there's gonna be so much variability within all the like the people mm -hmm. and like I guess it sucks it's in a way too. Yeah. Cause like if you get stuck with someone who's bad, like you're stuck with them for like a couple months. It's just yeah. such a waste of time. Such a waste of time. Like, the what? <laughs> How are you guys finding the experience of dating people during grad school or at CMCC? For me, I find it's fine because like he's he, he's in the same program, so like he understands it. Where in the past, I found like if I was just talking to people, like they didn't understand the workload mm -hmm. to it. But, but the downside for me, I find is like we're both in the program, so we're both always stressed and we're both like always have to plan on versus like mm -hmm. Maria and Cal for example like he has like nothing like when he's done work he's done so like when they're hanging out like she's forced to like not do anything yeah. but we always end up like talking about about Carlos, right? like, it's mm -hmm. like that's the downside I think like, are you pretty good forced, like, what about you he's good he's super understanding like I never feel like I don't know I never feel like I have to like sacrifice school like he gets it like he went through uni and stuff but 
Obviously, it'd be nice if he was in our program. Like, but doesn't it's nice? No, it doesn't matter. Oh. It doesn't matter though. Mm. No, he's good. Like I couldn't ask for him. Yeah. Love you, Kelly. <laughs> 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 Um, I guess for me, it didn't really make a difference because I wasn't studying anyways. <laughs> Most of the time, I was like doing other stuff. <laughs> so that's no, no, no. I, okay, I, I, I do study. I do study. I feel like it's good because it forced me not to do work late yeah. and like take more time for myself, which mm. is really good. But have you guys gone into situations like you guys are always studying and mm -hmm. not having the time I to, used to be like that. not having the time to like go on a date? Or... Oh no! Mm. Oh never. no! Mm. In our relationships now. Yeah. I would look no, around no, it. No, never. Mm. It literally like yeah, my schedule revolves around yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. What about okay? Maybe that's for you more uh, particularly because your boyfriend's working right now. Right? Yeah. And <laughs> I'm my main question is if you guys are in a different stage of life, there's a lot of things we talk about. But stuff in finances, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say, oh, we're guys in a different stage in life. Like, they might be talking about buying a car, uh, a buying a house. Yeah. But these are conversations that we, we just cannot. Yeah. I mean, contribute that much right now because mm -hmm. we're still on student loan debt. So that causes a lot of the time where I don't know. You guys would go into what well, about like that? Feel like you can't contribute. To the conversation. I don't think so because I feel like our lives are still pretty separate. Like even if he wants to buy a car, a new car, if he wants to invest in a property, like yeah. that doesn't affect me at all. Like I'm happy for him. I'm what, there to support him for his. What if he part. wants to invest or contribute to like saving plan with you for uh, a higher, like a marriage or something? <laughs> that I couldn't contribute now. I don't have any money. I'm negative about. But that would be that would be something that. Yeah, eventually. Pretty much around. around yeah, eventually. I think it's gonna take time for me to get to that level where I have money to like invest and stuff obviously he it has more money now yeah it'd have to be like she's done school and like yeah <laughs> but yeah definitely i don't know it's that i guess it doesn't suck but like it's just different because he's in a different spot so it feels like i'm starting so much far behind mm. yeah but like it, it is what it is that's what i feel and you're gonna bring the joy especially when yeah, talking to all my friends who's already working right oh now my God, you're slacking. oh man i was talking i was talking to all my like friends who are already working right mm -hmm. And they're making all these, like, yeah, they're, they're, all this shit and, and they, they're anything. talking know, like all these like typical adult conversations, mm -hmm. yeah. like time for marriage, time to buy a house, <laughs> that kind of thing. And I feel like I couldn't yeah, engage in those that's conversations. Fair. That's 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 damn true. Yeah, that realization. So I was wondering. I mean, yeah, you can still plan for the future. You can still think about those things, like hypothetically, like even though they're not like in your direction, like right now. Yeah. Yeah, right? that, that's just what I'm interested in, yeah. in learning more about, or how to deal with it, or just, yeah. Oh, I wish I could forward while we're fucking Oh, we should do it. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, speaking of finances, right? I never asked you guys on the student loan mm. that you guys have yeah. taken out, right? How, how does that work? It's so complicated. I don't know, mine's all over the place. Okay, basically, through CIBC, you got a line of credit. And um, they give you like 140, 140K. You can take out like whatever you need, and then you just pay like a low interest each month. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's it. Do you mind sharing like how much you need to pay? With my, it, it depends on how much you've taken out. So, for example, like if you have twenty k on your line of credit, like I think I pay like thirty bucks a month. That's crazy. Thirty bucks a month. Yeah. Versus me. In the duration of how depends, many years? Well, it depends on how much. Like if, if you have a hundred thousand off of your line of credit, like it's a percentage of what you have off. Okay. What is it? One percent or something? I have no idea. No, I think it's higher. It, it's it's like less than normal because like a student like yeah, me, but it's a percentage of whatever you have. So if you have 50k, like you pay like a percent of that. Okay. So I have. So you have probably what 20k loan debt. So her interest is like, what is it? It's a pay. 30 bucks or 30 to 60. It kind of changes each month. But mine is 160 a month. But how much? So I have more taken out of it. You have more taken mm -hmm. out of it. Oh. How, what's like the total? Oh, total? Let's go train. That goes right there. Yeah. I've and never there's seen that a station life. right in front. What's What's like the total loan that you have? taken out or applied for 
same as like we everyone gets 140k. Really? Yeah. Oh. That's, that's like the. That's the yeah, it's like. Well, how's this so different then? With I guess because she has I'm, savings. I have or... less money on on my thing. I've only taken out like a certain amount from the line of credit. Mm. Mm. Do you know how much you have taken out out of that 140k? Well, 25. I only think I bought it 25. And um, how much are we doing now? Probably 50. <laughs> okay, probably 50. Oh, that's yeah. right. Oh, okay. And every month you guys have to pay at least a certain amount of money? Just the interest. Just the interest. Mm -hmm. Let's say after graduation. Mm -hmm. it's, what would that cost? I think after graduation it goes up, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. The interest it's going to be up. a lot. You guys yeah. doing same CIBC or you're same for a different bank? I think most, most people, people in our school <laughs> yeah, have CIBC. Does that, you know, do you know if OSAP? Applies to our school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have OSAP. Well, why, didn't, why didn't you guys do OSAP? We have OSAP too. Oh, you have OSAP too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What well, then? Why do you need CIBC on top of it? Because it doesn't give you much. Oh, how much is it? Like, it depends. Like for example, I I get a grant of ten k. Oh, that's grant. I mean, it's funding. It's funding. Right? And then they only and then they give me like five k loan or whatever. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's so little then. Oh, by the way, a lot of people who are who my tutor. Yeah. Oh yeah, nice! Let's go! Yeah. That's exciting! Yeah, that's very exciting. Alright, any more? Any questions for each other? Um, what we have for Paul Did you like having us as lab meets? Yeah. Yes, I do love it. How was it compared to last year? Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's savage. That's savage, you know. Uh, yeah, I think you guys are very supportive in terms of giving guidance. Like, like manual therapy, it's not like the best. Mm -hmm. Always got majors. Yeah. <laughs> but you guys are giving me good feedback every time. Just as, as little as oh, um, didn't do that fast enough. What mm -hmm. my what my posture looked like. Mm -hmm. And you guys give me very good constructive feedback. So that's good. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. But yeah. Interesting. Right. Interesting. You cold? No, no, no. Yeah, I'm cold. Mm -hmm. All right. Any uh, last words for the. Viewers or new people who just got in. <laughs> Welcome to Welcome. <laughs> Any things you want to say? Calvin's the best. <laughs> if not, thank you for watching for this video. Like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions at all. And I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> you guys won't regret this. Trust me, in a year, looking back, this wonderful video. And you'll be saying, we're so glad we made that video. You think so? Okay. Look up, look up. <laughs> we did the best we could. Can we redo this? We'll be 10 pounds skinnier. <laughs> what are we eating today? Uh, Rico burrito. Rico burrito, not sponsored. <laughs> oh damn, it looks good. Oh, they give, they give mm. freaking what? Five different li limes? No, they don't. Press stuff again and press. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is what the guy Logan Paul, like, that's what he did.